Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and first of all let me tell you in this video you will learn about the combo box that is in simple words you can say a drop down list and then you uh, you will also learn about the data tables and the data sets. Uh, I hope you guys know about data tables which contains some rows and columns I mean which have some records and data set is basically a collection of uh, data tables that is in a data set we can uh, store ma multiple uh, data tables okay so first of all let me uh, discuss the scenario what we are going to do is first of all uh, we will have a combo box or you can say a drop down list from here a user can select any clinic okay let's say a user select healthy care center okay so it will display the information here the rating contact number address and the clinic name okay and according depend on this okay uh, I mean here it will display all the uh, doctors that work in this healthy heart center clinic okay so it will display all the doctors here let's say I am going to click on Dr. Peter Parker so it will display me the information about this doctor which is psychiatrist card, uh, cardiologist and this is the contact number and similarly you can uh, select anyone that is Dr. Mike Thompson okay and this is all the uh, doctor specialty contact and name and also you can select any clinic you want and according to that clinic uh, name that is it will display here all the doctors that work here inside this dentist pro clinic okay so if you click here here you can see this Dr. Sasha Glenn, Dr. Peter Ford and Dr. Gia Ford so yeah let's do that so go to the visual studio and let's create a new project like always you, you will see sharp windows form app and from here you can give any name you want I'm going to give it a name as clinic app and then click OK so here we go it create a new project for, for us which is clinic name so now the next thing is to add a combo box from the toolbox so from here you can simply write combo and it will uh, give you this suggestion which combo box drag and drop this combo box here and let's quickly design this so from here I am going to change the font uh, size okay so it will be you can give it any you want I will choose Arial bold and 10 let's drag and drop a label and let's change the label text to select clinic so the user will select the clinic from here bold and 12 let's copy paste this and here we will display the uh, information about the clinic so let's give a uh, name to these levels okay so the first one will be for LBL here we will display the clinic name so we can just give it a name LBL name okay or instead of that let's uh, use proper name which will be clinic name okay the second one will be LBL clinic address and here we will display clinic contact number okay so you can give it a name as clinic contact LBL clinic contact and here we will display the clinic rating and the name of our combo box will be this one which is combo box 1 and since you know that we will be using data tables for uh, which will basically and that data table will use we will display here on this combo box okay but if you want to uh, give it some other values uh, that is default according to your app requirements then here you can see you can simply click on that and here you can see this small arrow okay click on that and it will display this combo box task so click on this edit items and from here you can uh, give items to it that is let's say uh, clinic 1 clinic 2 I mean whatever the data you want to give it okay so from here you can give it like that but since in our case as you, as you know that uh, we will be using data tables and we will display the uh, data from the tables on this combo box okay so I'm just uh, going to show you guys that how you can give values to this combo box like that okay so here you can see the clinic 1 clinic 2 and clinic 4 okay so you can see that this is basically other way okay but since according to the scenario we are not going to assign values like that okay we will display the uh, data from the tables okay here on this combo box so yeah now what next is first uh, let's implement this 
so the name of our form is form 1 so we want that whenever the form load it should uh, display the data here okay so first of all double click on this form and it will create this event handler form 1 load first of all we need to uh, create a data table so I am going to so let's create data table by the name dt clinic equals to new data table and now I'm going to create a method which will contain all the information of uh, a table okay so in this way uh, this is basically the name of our data table which we will create now so let me create a method here first where we will store the columns and rows okay so let's say fill clinic table dot columns so first we will add columns to our table dot add and the column name will be CID which means clinic ID and we want uh, to convert the type of this CID to integer data types okay and by default let me tell you the type of this will be uh, string okay so type of and then put two braces and here you can simply type int dt, dt clinic dot columns dot add and our second column name will be c name and let's copy paste this for the time saving so we will change it for the other columns so the third one will be clinic address so we can give it a name as a a d r e a double d r e double s and then the last one is the clinic rating so we can give it a name c rating so this will basically add uh, columns okay to our table since you know that this is not the actual database okay we are just uh, creating it uh, for the temporary use and later on when we will be working on databases then we will uh, i will also tell you guys how coin how we can add data and uh, fetch data from the database tables or columns etc i mean so dt cleaning dot rows now we have to add row dot add so here we need to pass data according to our columns okay so the first one is cid and the type of it is integer so here you can simply write one comma and the second uh, we need to pass the clinic name so the clinic name uh, is the data type for that is string so we can simply write the clinic name let's say the clinic name is dentist pro clinic after that we have uh, the clinic address so let's say i'm going to write the address palm beach Florida comma and then we need to pass the clinic rating so let's say 7 out of 10 so it will create first row and now let's copy paste this and we can change it for the other ones okay so the second and this will be third and this will be fourth one so let's say the name of this is let's say Mohammed Ali's clinic or you can say center I mean you can give any name you want and then we have to give it the so I can simply write the address blue area and rating rating will be 10 out of 10 and the third one let's say it should be IPO and the address will be Cupertino California and 8 out of 10 and the fourth one will be let's say healthy care clinic and it should be palm beach and let's change the rating to four five so yeah this will add four rows and now the next thing is we want that whenever our form load it should display this data on the combo box so how we can do that so first of all we will call this method here inside this form load and then on the combo box we want to display it so we can say combo box one dot data source so we have to specify the data source so the data source for the combo box one will be our table which is by the name dt clinic so we have to pass this to it so basically now up to here this will basically attach our this table which is by the name dt clinic which contains all these information these are the columns and these are the rows okay this data uh, exists inside this table so this will attach this uh, dt clinic to the combo box now we have to uh, specify some specific column we want to display on the combo box so we want to just display the 
clinic name on our combo box so we can simply say combo box one dot display member equals to and here we need to pass the specific column name so we want to display only the clinic names here so copy this and paste that here and now let's run the app to see what basically happens and here you here we go here you can see this dentist pro clinic and if we expand this all the uh, four clinics are here dentist pro clinic Muhammad ali center ipo and healthy care now the next task is to display the information whenever a user select any clinic from here so it should display the name address and the rating of that clinic on these levels which we created so for that what we're going to do is go to the form and as you know that whenever users select uh, any uh, well i mean any option from this combo box then we will change okay so you can simply double click on this combo box and it will create this event handler select in this index change okay so here we can simply say lbl clinic name dot text equals to dt clinic dot rows then put these two braces and here we have to specify the index of combo box one and i will explain it why we are doing like that selected index and after that we have to uh, give it uh, the column name so we can simply say which is our clinic name so pass that here after that you can convert it to string let me explain this now uh, first of all let me tell you that this uh, line of i mean which is combo box one dot selected index this will basically returns the row number and this will the column number okay so first of all as you know that the table works on the rows into column operation uh, or you can imagine this as a two dimensional array this is for the rows and this is for the columns so let's say uh, i'm going to run the app and i will explain it further so as you know that uh, let's say if i click on muhammad ali center okay so it is basically the it will return 0 1 okay so it is our first index okay as you know that the index starts from 0 so 0 1 so it will basically return the row index which is 1 and the column we have already specified which is in this case you can see by the name or c name which is clinic name okay so it will uh, give us a name which is Muhammad Ali and it will display it on this LBL clinic name okay which is our label and the same we will do for all the remaining ones so how we can do that you can simply copy this and let's pass that four times and the second one will be for the address so it is by the name LBL clinic address and the third one will be LBL contact and the fourth one will be LBL rating clinic rating okay and now we have to assign the address column to it since you want to uh, display the address here of any row which a user will select from the combo box any option okay so that option will basically uh, returns any row number so let's remove this also and we can add the and we have we forgot to add the uh, column for the contact number of that clinic okay so let's add that also here quickly so it will be clinic contact c contact and also let's add information so uh, this is the id the name the address and after address we have to put the uh, contact number so how we can do we can simply type any number okay and the same we can copy paste here after the address okay because after the address column we have this contact so make sure to do the same which i am doing here and also we can copy paste that here so make sure to put a comma and then paste that here you can also change these numbers to anything you want but i will uh, keep it like that so yeah that's it now the next thing is to this will be our c contact so copy this and paste that here and the third one is the rating so pass that here and now let's run the app so here we go dentist pro clinic and this is the dentist pro clinic name then the, then the address then the contact number and this is the rating and now if i select ipo clinic you can see ipo clinic uh, the address and the rating and the contact number and let's say healthcare center okay so you can see it it uh, displayed information successfully so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will uh, create another combo box 
and we will set their data on uh, according to this that is whenever a user select any clinic from here then it should display the doctors that work inside this IPO clinic here on the second combo box and the labels which we will create in the next video tutorial so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel code and cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now